What's up guys, this is Mate with Tech Vitamins and today I'm going to prescribe you some vitamins on Joomla, uh, specifically on how to upgrade from 1.5 to the 1.7 version or I guess 1.6 and then to 1.7 um, and this is going to be a little bit of an advanced tutorial uh, mainly for you know project managers or web developers or anybody um, that's uh, looking to upgrade but it will also give a lot of useful information I'm sure to a novice uh, user or a beginner with Joomla and you know this is kind of my way of giving back I'm a big supporter of Joomla and the open source platform as well as others like Drupal and uh, WordPress and even though I don't get too many views on my Joomla videos on our site I'm you know still very excited about it I want to help you guys out and hopefully uh, deliver some information that um, be very useful to you before you get into this uh, it's not as simple as you may think it is um, so let me go ahead and start with what you need to know first of all we're gonna have to create an environment for this upgrade to happen just as if you were developing uh, a site or doing testing or doing additional development to a website you always want to have a subdomain set up where you can do all this testing and not screw up your live site so the first thing you're going to do is create a subdomain uh, I'm going to quickly show you uh, how you would do it through cPanel but basically you will go into the, any control panel that controls your server or your web space and first set up the domain name the subdomain name and make it active um, the second thing you're going to want to do right after that is with a program like FileZilla or, or any other FTP client you're going to want to pretty much copy all the Joomla files from your live site into the subdomain so you're pretty much just making a replica um, and you can do a number of different ways you can first copy all the Joomla files to your own computer so you actually have a backup of all that data just in case and then once you have your subdomain folder within your public HTML then you want to copy all those files into that folder to make the replica of your site now it's important to note that you're not done just by simply replicating your site and creating a subdomain you have to create a copy of your database which you will do through PHP my admin if you're using a Linux server um, if you're using a Microsoft server I'm not familiar with it but basically we'll go into your uh, database client or control panel and simply create a uh, duplicate database for this Joomla new subdomain and you want to create a new user and I guess name it slightly differently the reason for that is you don't want that same database to be connected to the replica so when you make changes in your subdomain you want to make sure it doesn't affect the original live build so again you will create the copy of the database in PHP my admin in this particular uh, example and then you will go either back to your file manager or again you can do it through uh, FileZilla as well um, you need to access the configuration.php file in your new subdomain copy of your website and in there you're going to make sure that that replica website points to the newly duplicated database and the user um, for, for that database as well so once you set up your transfer environment um, there's a couple different things you're going to need to do through Joomla first of all what I would highly recommend is go to your Joomla extension directory and search for a very useful extension called SP upgrade uh, this extension or component was designed to uh, help you upgrade from 1.5 into either 1.6 or 1.7 um, without too many headaches but even though you may use this extension it's still not going to make it very simple if you have a simple site with some common um, extensions especially the free ones that are developed by Joomla then actually you may be fine it will convert everything um, pretty smoothly but if you're working with uh, many different extensions especially third-party ones and uh, ones that are commercial uh, you're gonna have to do some research first so the second thing after purchasing the SB upgrade is you're gonna to have to go back into the Joomla extension directory and with your 1.5 version open which we have right here as an example you are have to go through all your components identify what you have installed and which components you're using 
and then go into the extension uh, directory on Joomla.org and figure out if that particular extension even has a 1.7 version for the for the new Joomla upgrade. You may find that some of them will no you know some of these companies no longer support uh, their extensions or components or plugins in version 1.7. Now. The, the main reason a company would do that is because Joomla 1.7 has uh, introduced a lot of new features and those features may now be available in 1.7 whereas before 1.5 you need an, uh, an extension or component to be able to achieve that functionality. Uh, one best example is an extension called Community ACL which is from a great company called CorePHP.com I've purchased a lot of uh, extensions from them and Community ACL basically what it did it enhanced uh, the feature functionality of your user accounts in Joomla so you were, uh, you were able to create different permission levels almost completely different websites depending on who logged in um, excuse this little window let me get rid of that and so for example that community ACL uh, extension is no longer supported in 1.7 because 1.7 version does include a lot of this new functionality. Now it's not going to be a straightforward uh, transfer but this is why I'm saying research all your components make a list of them to identify which ones are no longer supported in 1.7 or simply their company hasn't released a 1.7 version yet and according to that you'll be able to make a plan on what to do to, to care to take care of that. Um, another important aspect is to identify anything custom that was developed on your site. For uh, one of my companies, we do have a completely custom built software, or online software connected to our Joomla front end website, uh, the public website, and we had to identify all these different pieces in order to understand what we're going to have to change and upgrade in our custom code because Joomla 1.7 has made upgrades to their database structure as well as extending their uh, categories, subcategories and so forth menus, uh, submenus and all that stuff has been enhanced so make sure that you do that research and identify what was custom developed and how it's going to affect your new upgrade. Um, last but not least of course, uh, many of you are going to be using templates, whether they are uh, free templates or you purchased them or they were custom developed. You want to make sure that the template you want to continue to use, again, has a 1.7 version. Um, I get uh, most of our templates for our companies from a website called youthian.com. A great company is a paid service, but for the quality of work that you're getting and the support, is just an awesome company. And uh, luckily for every template that we've had you know as far as back as three four years and um, in their 1.5 version has a 1.7 upgrade version from Utheme as well as having upgrades to some of their um, plugins and utilities some of their widgets and so forth they have all that for you so make sure you download those and that's what you're going to uh, upgrade into your new site now sometimes you may face issues with uh, CSS uh, definitions between the 1.5 and 1.7 version so make sure you have a guy that uh, knows that stuff well and can fix up these small uh, instances of, of, the, of the template not working um, you know for example some drop down menus or uh, we've had issues with corners of these images and some of the media images or even content overall uh, you know coming into version 1.7 especially if you're using articles with custom HTML coding within them or PHP coding uh, make sure that you identify which, the one, which ones those are because it may not be a straightforward transfer again uh, to 1.7 um, so you know I, ho I hope I was able to cover a lot of information that may be uh, useful to you um, you know and again don't think it's gonna be a straightforward project identify all those pieces that I've talked about in this video make sure you have your transfer or upgrade subdomain slash platform set up for you um, and you have some talented people on your team to be able to help you out with this uh, there's a lot of help out on Joomla.org obviously for this transferring but um, if you have any questions definitely leave a comment or two shoot me an email uh, I'll definitely try to provide you with information or some resources that you can use to further help you um, and I hope you enjoy this and I will see you guys next time thank you